Yeah, well, the Grand Prix for radio was awesome, and it was uh, for LucasAid, and I kind of feel I need some now. It's about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning back in Australia. Uh, look, it was you know, brilliantly written, great production values, um, an outstanding piece. The whole jury loved it. And this, is in a, this was a pretty tough jury, and the entries in radio were the strongest of, you know, of any of the categories that I judged. Um, and I would say that, uh, uh, that you know, yeah, we loved it, and those people that have won a Grand Prix for this should feel pretty happy. Of all the campaigns that I've seen this week, I think this is the most important campaign um, that uh, I would like to see get recognised. There are foreign workers in uh, the United Arab Emirates that um, are women who are sexually abused and often put at risk, and uh, I, you know you go so far as to say that they are held captive in um, homes as they go about their domestic duties, but they certainly um, are being sexually abused, some of them, obviously not all of them. And this is a commercial that, uh, under the guise of a commercial for a soap or for some other product, was um, in a foreign language, so that the women who were working within these homes could hear that if they were being held or they were being sexually abused, here was a number that they could um, use to get help. And just every now and again, you know, um, our industry can do something um, to help people, and I thought this was a, you know, a really, um, and it's been, you know, it's been awarded before. Um, it's the second iteration of this campaign, but it doesn't make it any less powerful. Yeah, the panel uh, felt this was a clear winner. It's a beautiful piece. It's been cleverly uh, created and uh, we all loved it. I mean, um, who doesn't love a rainbow? It's beautiful. It wasn't just in one location, although the major location was in the middle of the city where everybody could see it. it had a nice activation idea at the base of the rainbow. And I've always wondered what's at the bottom of a rainbow. So yeah, great idea. We loved it. Look, I think the feeling was that there is a um, excellence, level of excellence and confidence in the radio work that we saw that um, we didn't see in TV. Now, these two particular gold winners certainly have that, and uh, you know, both of them use the length of the medium really well. They both resolve themselves really strongly and reward you for having sat through 90 seconds of of a commercial and this is you know it was really important when you're doing over 90 that by the time you do get to that resolution it's like thank you that's really cool and I think they did it in different ways uh, you know I love the you know the truck the skinny truck driver you know he, he's got a dream this is a man with a dream and he's completely and utterly not born for that dream but he was prepared to do anything and then he found out he didn't need to do it and you know and I think all of us feel like that sometimes There was no Grand Prix in print and uh, there was some very, very good work and I believe that they, um, I think the overall quality was great. So you weren't looking at an outstanding piece, although having said that, I do believe there was a, a gold that was one where children who aren't learning English or again poor access to books and education were interpreted an article that was on the left-hand side as if they'd written it. And, you know, it really brought home the message of how important it is to educate our children and to give them the best education possible. And I thought that was a really powerful piece, cleverly done. And so, but, you know, again, you know, I think um, this is part of a recurring theme that we're seeing in the work and did see all week. But again, you know, good work, great quality work across the board, but no Grand Prix. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, look, um, we just kept looking at it. You know, it's a visual gag, and if you uh, look at it from different angles, it actually kind of gets into your head, and you don't know what you're looking at, and then you think, as you get a sense of vertigo looking at it. So, you know, it's a visual medium, and um, you have to use, you know, they've used, you know, the visual medium really well. So, yeah, we gave gold. <laughs>